Well, traders, today we're ending a little bit later than we did yesterday. Yesterday was like 9.40, which honestly I prefer those days than ending at 11. What a day. Today was a fighting day, which is typical Fridays. I don't know why I wasn't prepared for it. Ended up just pretty much break even after all my trades. Uh, crazy day. Uh, you ever had those days where you just would honestly pay money to get them over with? <laughs> That was today. I was like, I'm so done with this. Ugh, so done with this. There's a few stocks. We'll go over it today. I want to go over everything. And then, you know, on top of that, I was recording for like an hour and a half. So the file was so big that I ran out of space and I can't even go back and look at the live trades. Uh, we'll do a recap. I can look at the trades right here. Let's get into them. CHRS was the first ticker that I took. And this one was very happy with it. Uh, short at the top. I should have covered on this flush. You know, this was a starter here, so it wasn't a ton. But it's certainly like pat in the wallet, even if it's 20 bucks, 30 bucks on each ticker. And that's something today I was doing. I was trying to be more efficient. So there's a lot that's been popping up on the intensity scanners. And I've been trying to, you know, take more than just one position. Take uh, about two or three positions. Today I was actually in three, and they were all really small starters. Uh, so it, it did mess me up a couple times, but uh, if I want to, you know, get better, I, I got I to gotta start doing that. I got to start taking more than one position uh, at a time. And the starters, so CHRS took a starter here. I love that. That was at about 19 bucks. Let's pull up the chart here. I'll show you guys what I was looking at, and which this one's all, all the way up at 1987 now. But this one, you ever had those stocks where you're just playing them like a fiddle? And that was CHRS for me today. It was coming up to that 50-day. And I was just starting that position there. It was already overextended on the day. That's something else I look for. It can't just open up and be right at resistance. So if we opened up at like $17 and that was the previous close and then the 50-day was like $17.05, uh, there's no buyer then. I mean, it's got to have that euphoria. It's got to have buyers coming into it, getting it overextended. The velocity on this trading day relative to its average normal trading day is uh, is way higher. And, and that's what I look for. I look for tons of buyers moving into it. And then that's when I begin my short. So CHRS played that a few times. Short starter. Uh, then I added to that short position here. I covered near the bottom there. Shorted it again. About 1925. Covered on that little flush. Obviously still more room in it there. Happy with that. CHRS perfectly fine with it. Obviously in hindsight, Every one of these stocks, we're going to be able to say, you know, that was good, that was bad. Uh, but I want to learn. I want to learn from these mistakes I made today. Uh, C-O-R-T, this is for example, I've had some people comment on the videos and say, you know, every time you look at a red trade in hindsight, is you're going to say, oh, that was just a bad entry. But if it was green, you would say, oh, that's a good entry. Here's an example on C-O-R-T of a stock that I was red on, uh, but I was happy here. Uh, I was happy. I was fine with these uh, initial uh, trades here on it. My starter position, although, yeah, looking at this chart in hindsight, it doesn't look great. I'm happy with that. I, I was perfectly fine with that. It's a feeler. It's a starter. It's like a quarter or less of my uh, you know, position. I, I'm honestly wanting this to work against me. This one just ended up going sideways and continuing higher. And so this is an example of a stock where, okay, it's slowing down. It's going sideways. You just need to cut out of it. And that's not what I did. Uh, and I could have been break even. I was honestly break even on it right here when this thing just took off. C O R T. Uh, it, honestly, guys, out of nowhere, this stock just went up like 40 or 50 cents. I was watching it. It's just this green candle out of nowhere just popped this thing on up. I'm like, are you kidding me? I didn't even have an opportunity to get out of it. That's how fast it was. And so I just I added quite a bit of shares right there. I dropped a few cents and, and took it. Uh, took the loss there. So C R T messed me up. I was fine with this one. The chart was was fine. It was good. This one was coming up, you know, to strong resistance. C O R T. Let's see where it's at now. You know, this thing's already hit 12.59 and been moving down a lot. So this one was coming up to its 200 day. And oftentimes, you know, see this R S I as well overbought on the daily chart. Look at this candlestick to its normal average trading day, much much bigger. That's what I look for. This one popped right over that 200 day. Uh, and oftentimes they'll either hit it and back down or they'll pop over it and start, you know, retracing it. We'll see that upper shadow. And that's what happened there on CORT. Starting to pull back now. Wasn't mad about this trade at all. 
I, I just should have covered it. I, I should have been, you know, either scaling out or just taking all once I realized this was sideways. CHRS, this one worked nearly right away. I was getting it on pops and covering, you know, into flushes. It was working great right away. Then the other stock that killed me was MYGN. MYGN, this one I started right out of the gates. And looking back, I'm a little irritated about that. The reason I was interested on MYGN is because this one was up already from about $29 up to $46. Of course I'm going to be interested in that. You guys know this is my setup. So I took the short position here right near the start of the day, added into it a few times. This ad here, I don't even know. Okay, this ad was, uh, was a mistake. I'm looking at that like, oh my gosh, that is horrible. What am I doing adding at the bottom? Uh, what happened here was I was in these three tickers at the same time, and I didn't have this chart pulled up. I thought it was at resistance at 46.50 instead of just like 45.75, and uh, and I added to it that that was one of the mistakes today of just being in several tickers at the same time. Uh, it becomes a little difficult, becomes a little challenging. You gotta be really focused. So that was a mistake. Uh, you tried to mitigate that right away. Got rid of those shares as it was popping on up. This short here was perfect. It was off the trend line. MYGN, I want to show you that trend line. It was way overextended and on this trend line and kept trying to, you know, come down to it and crack it. It got heavy on it. Uh, but all these lower shadows here was indicating that there was big buyers moving in and pushing this thing on up. So you can buy it off the trend and, you know, and sell it as it's popping up over the trend or you can short it above the trend and, you know, cover back down as it's flushing back towards that trend line. I, I just started this. I just started this probably too early. Uh, FOMO, that's what it is. That's what's been getting me every single time on these stocks. Not waiting for it to have that intense euphoric move like I did with CHRS. This one popped up on the scanner, hit that 20 on the I3. I took it, worked perfect. Versus me trying to get in, you know, right when the day starts. That's what messed me up on MYGN. This one, I was in it for, you know, till 1045. I just. That wore me out. Absolutely wore me out. I hate being in these stocks that long, honestly. I like getting in and out in the morning and starting my day. It's 11.04 right now. But, you know, Fighter Friday, that's what it is. So I'm going to uh, look over these charts and try to figure out, you know, how to learn from it. Come back Monday and we'll be good to go. We're going to start this month, you know, this month already. Two green days in a row. I've had a nice little solid green streak, I think, for the last three weeks. So, got to just stay focused. Got to stay disciplined. Starting these small. That way I never get into major, major trouble on them. And we'll go from there. If you guys want to know how to find these stocks every single day, going to be a link in the description below for you, the intensity scanners. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you learned some. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll see you all first thing Monday.